guys, I have something to show you today. But first, I'm going to give you a little bit background about it. A lot of my maker friends and hardware hacker friends, they came to ask me, oh, uh, what do you think is um, the cheapest tablet I can find to control my projects? I was like, I don't know. I'm not an expert on the tablets. Usually for my projects, I just use my phone to control it. But I mean, if you are going to do a demo in the public, you don't want to pass your $600 phone uh, to everybody else. So that's that. And uh, so I want to find out. I want to find it out for you guys. Um, I went down to Kwa Chiang Bay, the biggest electronic market in Shenzhen. And you know, I have a lot of friends there uh, at the booth and the vendor. And they show me like a stack of uh, tablets. Uh, I go for all of them. And I was like, so which one got returned the most? And they showed me that. And of course, uh, I I would would never pick them for, for pick that for you. And but I managed to find a um, usable one. Uh, and during that time, I didn't film and I didn't uh, take any pictures because you know there are a lot of counterface and Shanzai stuff there. They won't allow me to film there. But uh, I managed to find one that you can buy and ship uh, to abroad and they also sell it on Banggood. Uh, I will put the link in the comment section later. Okay, before I continue, I gotta say, I'm not recommending this tablet for everyone. It's mostly, it's mostly for my maker friends and hardware hacker friends to control their projects, maybe museum installations. For kids to watch videos, those are not a problem. But if you're looking uh, for daily use out of it, I don't know. I'm not willing for that. I changed it uh, to landscape instead of portrait so you guys can have a better view. So this is the menu. Uh, it is almost like stock Android. Uh, there is no weird skin or anything like that. I will go to some Chinese website to show you the speed. For browsing the website, the speed is fine. Now let's go to the settings. Scroll down about tablet. It is running the 5.1 Android version. It's the most recent version I could find. Most of the tablets in this price range, this uh, tablet only costs seventy dollars. They run even older versions, and this is uh, as new as I can find. Uh, it is, this is just a standard Android tablet. There is nothing more that interesting I can show you, but I do want to show you the hardware. At the back, uh, I have to open it from the oh. How clumsy. So at the back, uh, you just open it from the, uh, at the corner, they have a um, curve here for you. It's uh, easier for you to open it. And then when I open it, you can see there are two SIM card slot here. It's common in China and an SD card slot and the camera. The camera, um, the back camera is good, but the front camera is a little fussy. I can show you. Let me put it back. So the back camera, it's okay. The quality is not that bad. But the front camera, let me take a picture for you guys so you can get an idea of it. It's like this. It's 
So if you're if you're really going to take a picture, just use the back one. The front one is for the decoration, I think. And also you could if you want to take a screenshot, you just click on the menu there is on the side you can just click this and it automatically takes screenshots for you. So to give you guys some ideas of what I'm going to use this tablet for, I designed and 3D printed some accessories for the tablet. This is the uh, cover case for the tablet. If you have kids at home and if they want to, you know, drop the tablet, they can do it for short term with these phone cases. And it's free, you can download it and I will put the link in the comment section also. So this is what it looks like. Camera. The slots, they are still uh, matching and I will put the file in the comment section. It's free, you can download it and if you want to modify for your projects, you can. And this one here, this one is for Mega Fair or maybe museum installations. I mean, it's not a uh, fat pro, but it's definitely harder for people to tamper with. You have to put the zip tie around so that it will be secure. Uh, again, the model is free for you to download. If you want to modify it, you can. But for this one, you just put the zip tie around it and it also got a hole for the lock so it's pretty secure even when you walk away it's hard for people to just take it and wander away This is a wall mount bracket. I also designed this for you guys. You can download it and modify it yourself, whatever you want. Uh, you can use it to control your home automation or home theater. But I'm probably gonna to use it to monitor my dog camera.
Okay, that's it. That's the Wyo X7 reviews. Uh, it's not great, but it's really good for the price. I recommend it for my hardware and maker friends for your projects. If you're interested in buying one, uh, I will put the link in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching.